Hello, I'm Florence Adon. I work with Basic Needs as the program manager. We do uh, mental health work like provide mental health services in the community setting. Today, I, I want to uh, bring to you um, some of the mental health terms that people normally use and those that we need to really avoid when we are having a mental health conversation. And before I do that, I will be able to give you a, a uh, the, the, uh, define for you what mental illness is and give you a differentiation between mental health and mental illness before I can actually highlight some of those most respectful and appropriate words you should use when having mental health conversation. So uh, mental illness, uh, it's a general term that uh, we use for a group of illnesses that may affect a person's thoughts, feelings, perceptions and behavior. However, mental health is a mental well-being that enables people to cope with stresses. In other words, it's the mental wellness, the wellness or the wellness of the mind. So those are the difference between uh, mental health and mental illness. So getting to uh, the words that we need to use, the appropriate words that we need to use when uh, we're having a conversation about mental health, there are phrases that we need to actually use and there are phrases that actually we need to avoid. And we have gotten this based on our interactions with our clients in the community and what we have actually, uh, they are defined as an appropriate term you can use when referring to, their, uh, uh, to them as persons living with uh, mental illness. So when referring to a person who is living with mental illness, please don't use words such as mentally ill, mentally challenged, mental disorder, mad, crazy. These words are very stigmatizing and makes the person actually feel so stigmatized. And these are words that actually can stop other people from accessing mental health services. So then when you're referring to uh, uh, people with uh, mental illness, please use the terms like a person with mental illness, someone with mental ill health. These are most respectful words that you can actually use when referring to uh, somebody living with uh, mental uh, illness. And I have also seen and had, um, I've seen in writings and I've had in communications, people normally use the term, especially when somebody has taken their life. People use the term committed suicide. Uh, it's not appropriate to use the, the term committed suicide. We would rather use the word such as died by suicide. Maybe the person took their own life or attempted suicide. Because these are really more appropriate, the most respectful word. And also, um, it, when you say committed suicide, it makes it like a crime. And it makes it like a sin. And so we need to actually do away from, I actually not use such words when we are making communications in regard to suicide so that uh, it, it doesn't criminalize uh, suicide. Despite the fact that our law in Uganda uh, makes uh, suicide a crime or at attempting suicide a crime, we shouldn't actually use uh, such words when we are referring to the incident. Uh, there are times we use words like, Florence is suffering from mental illness, or Florence is a victim of mental illness. Actually, such words are also not appropriate. We would rather say Florence lives with mental illness. That's more appropriate. Yeah, and I would encourage everyone including even those in the media or those who actually always have mental health conversations to actually take note of these phrases when they are 
making the communication out there. So thank you so much for this moment to actually get some of these phrases that are very useful and actually commonly used out there that may not actually encourage people to come for mental health services in the different units or in the community where these services are available.